It's that time of the year. We're talking about March Mammal Madness, and this is The Rundown. Bringing you all the highlights of the tournament, I am Lion, and I am joined by my co-host, Giraffe. Great to be here, Lion! And it was an incredible night of second round action in both the Only Ones division and the Roots and Relics division. We learned more about our combatants and watched some interesting matchups. Let's talk a minute about the science of March Mammal Madness Encounters. There's a lot of combatants looking at each other, a lot of running away. What gives? In nature, animals have to be vigilant to danger and threat. So they look, watch, and decide. React too fast and you end up running away over nothing important, wasting a lot of energy. But run away too slow and you can end up lunch. Well, not so much you, Lion, but you get my point. This is why MMM has always featured standoffs and scientifically accurate running away. Fascinating. All right, let's get into it. And welcome back special commentators Great White Shark and... Oh, boar. Hey, big kitty. Hey, giraffe. Great to be back with you fine folks and talk about some sweet science-based animal encounters. On the Kazakhstan steppe, number three seed Saiga grazes with his herd. Warm in his winter hair that is 75% thicker than his summer coat. Number six seed Indri is magically translocated from Madagascar and immediately sings a contact call for her family. But no one sings back to her, thinking she is amongst extra weird goats from the village. The largest living lemur leaps away to find a forest and her friends, departing the field of battle. Indri eliminated. Number one seed Ginkgo and Rizzo stand together friends in a temperate broadleaf forest on Mount Jinfo in southwest China. As a light rain falls, the temperature hovers a few degrees above freezing. Meanwhile, in Borneo, it's also raining, but the weather is about 50 degrees warmer, the way number eight seed Asian forest tortoise likes it. Magically translocated to the winter weather, the tortoise can't find a good hidey hole at the base of Ginkgo and departs the scene to find a rotten log to hide underneath. Asian forest tortoise eliminated. Saruga Bay, Japan, where number three seed frilled shark swims in wait when number 11 seed Tuatara is magically translocated from the end of the courtship season in New Zealand. As Tuatara swims toward the surface, frilled shark strikes and sinks its needle-sharp barbed teeth close around Tuatara's torso. But shark's teeth are blocked by Tuatara's plated scales. Frilled shark releases Tuatara, watching as a reptile awkwardly swims away unscathed from the field of battle. But... To Atara eliminated! Off the west coast of the Comoros Islands between mainland Africa and Madagascar, number four seed Coelacanth was drift hunting, using ocean currents to drift passively until encountering prey. Meanwhile, in Finland, number five seed Ring Seal dived into his freshwater lake from his snow lair, translocating right into the drift path of Coelacanth. Unable to see in the darkness, Ring Seal begins the spin turn to return to the surface. Wha-bam! Gently drifting Coelacanth and powerfully spin-turning Seal collide in the water column. Seal has encountered the biggest fish of his life, but Coelacanth, knowing Seal is too much car, catches a new ocean drift to hunt for her preferred prey off the field of battle. Coelacanth eliminated! Once again, in the dune fields of the greater Sahara Desert region, number one seed Addicts is eating and digesting when number eight seed Spotted Neck Otter is magically translocated from playing on a riverbank in South Africa. Coming up with a face full of sand instead of river mud, Otter is very stressed to not be near any water. Otter is quickly distracted by the arrival of a migrating raptor, a marsh harrier that isn't doing very well. The mighty mustelid, eater of fish, crabs, mammals, and birds, goes into lethal predator mode with steely obsidian eyes, the otter attacks, and begins to devour the raptor. What is this? Who's messing with my teleprompter? What even happened to the addicts? <laughs> gotcha! 
While eating shrubbery, Attic steps closer to Spotted Necked Otter, who drags his feathery dinner away from the field of paddle to eat in peace. Spotted Necked Otter eliminated! In Southern California, Puma is approaching last week's deer carcass site, just as Quokka is translocated to the base of a tree next to a pile of leaves, an evidence of many scavengers and predators' visits. Predator-naive Quokka cannot read the signs of danger lurking in the shadow. Puma pounces in front of Quokka. This dramatic entrance squares even the Quokka, and she panic leaps backwards into the tree trunk, relaxing her pouch and injecting her pouch Joey onto the forest floor. Quokka's pouch Joey flounders on the ground, hissing loudly. As Puma closes in on this appetizer, Quokka hop flees from the scene of battle. Quokka eliminated! Near the mouth of the Galveston Bay, where the Trinity River Delta delivers fresh water, nutrients, and sediments to the marine ecosystem. And number two seed alligator Gar waits in ambush. Meanwhile, number 10 seed horseshoe crab is scuttling on the bottom of the Delaware Bay with difficulty from her lost Telson in round one, when she is translocated to Trinity River. Wah, bam, chomp, chomp, alligator Gar smash grabs horseshoe crab. And horseshoe crab's copper-based blood turns blue when exposed to oxygen on the river surface. You wanted carnage? That's some garnage. Horseshoe crab eliminated. Late afternoon in Gran Chaco, and number four seed Pecorari has found a smorgasbord of fruit when number five seed Maine Wolf, also a fruit eater, tries to join the feast. Pecorari pauses and stares hard at Wolf. Pecorari sways her head and grunts loudly, then turns her head and mouth agape to show her tusk to say, Don't you dare! Maine Wolf slinks low and tries to snap steal some fruit when Pecorari confronts the canid with a loud tooth clacking. Maine Wolf bares his teeth in a snarl. Pecorari charges the smaller Maine Wolf, who turns tail and flees. Maine Wolf eliminated! Cowardly canids. Breaking hearts and brackets once again. I mean, uh, what great science. What a night of exciting action. Peccary, Alligator Gar, Frilled Shark, Ringed Seal, Saiga, Ginkgo and Rizzo, best friends. Puma and Addicts advance to the Sweet 16. We find out who will join them from the same and different and tuxedo style divisions next episode. Until next time, good night and good luck. Remember, in March Mammal Madness, if you're learning, you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, March Mammal Madness. It's going down. 65 species from all around. Thurl's deer, polar bear, taking the crown. Adax and Ginkgo, they're battle bound. If you're learning, you're winning. Species battling, no one spinning. Home habitats, the first round spin. But traits take over when the league begins. Zorilla, flying snake, they're coming through. Moon rat and fern got something to prove. Tree of life, they're fighting for the throne. Who's gonna make this tournament their own? First three rounds, home field's your friend. But elite trait, final roar, that's where legends send. Number one seeds might fall today. Unexpected champs gonna have their say. If you're learning, you're winning. What? Species battling, no one spinning. Out. Survival skills put to the test. March Mammal Madness, who's the best? 65 and up, but only one stage. March Mammal Madness, scientific ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs>